Did you know that if you leave your mandolin alone for long enough, it will break itself? Back when I started out, I sure didn't, and I don't think enough people talk about this. A very important tip for you coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome to Command and Lynn. I'm going to talk about something a little bit different today than just how to do a certain chord or a certain song or anything. This is very important, especially if you're starting out. You're sure not going to know this, and I sure didn't. Um, but I was very surprised to find out that if you just leave a mandolin alone for a while, the strings will tighten themselves. Now, I don't know why, because you would think with all this pressure and stuff that they would pull themselves loose. But if you leave a mandolin, say it's just hanging on the wall, say you put it in your case or something and don't play it for a week or something like that, the strings will tighten themselves. And how tight will they go? Both of these guys behind me can uh, testify. I can't point to them. There they are. That um, you know, This is exhibit A and B, respectively. Let me show you something. All right, here's my old uh, Honer mandolin that I bought when I first started playing. And I left it on the wall long enough that back in the day, now this happened years ago, <laughs> mind you, but both E strings broke and started caving in. Let's see if we can make this work on the camera. You can see the top of this thing is really caving in. Now it might have been caving in anyway, but I'm sure the uh, extra pressure of the strings just getting tighter and tighter did not help things. So I left this one on the wall long enough to just break some strings. A while back I had this little Lore LM370, which I was a big fan of, but eventually I bought a couple other Mandys and stuff, and this just hung on the wall in the basement for a while. And let's see if we can get this to show up on camera. But it, the strings here actually tightened in enough to pull the neck away from the body and split it down here at the joint. So uh, this one will take a little fixing to get that one back into action. So that's the tip. Anytime you're not going to play the things that's going to hang in the wall for a while, you're going on vacation. If you're taking it on a plane, uh, you'll probably want to loosen the strings. But loosen the strings uh, if you're not going to be playing it. I mean, it doesn't take long. You go like three days maybe without playing the thing, you'll come down here and tune them up, and it's really sharp. I mean, almost a half step sharp sometimes in just a few days. It doesn't take them long. And uh, I don't think a lot of people talk about this. And it sure surprised me when I was getting going. But yeah, the things will just tighten themselves all the time. So make sure to watch those and keep your strings loose. Uh, all right, this is just a quick tip here from uh, Commando Lynn, and we'll see you with the usual lesson and tutorial stuff next time. Have a great day.